This morning and yesterday morning, I read the 17th chapter of the Gospel of John. And both days, I couldn't help but wonder, what does Jesus say about the denominational plans to split? Speaking of the United Methodist Church. Let me read that portion for you. Jesus was praying for his disciples, and then he said, Yet not for these only do I pray, but for those also who through their word are to believe in me, that all might be one, even as thou, Father, in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, and the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory that thou hast given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be perfected in unity, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and that thou hast loved them, even as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that where I am, they also, who thou hast given me, may be with me, in order that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, and because thou hast loved me before the creation of the world, just, Father, the world has not known thee, but I have known thee, and thou hast sent me, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have made known to them thy name, and will make it known, in order that the love with which thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. I hope the grassroots delegates to the next conference will reject any possibility of division but accept many of the good ideas for simplifying the organization and reducing the overhead burden to the local congregations. One of the conferences of the United Methodist Church in Germany, in fact, they have three conferences there, but they held a round table led by Bishop Harold Ruckert to consider if there was some way that they could maintain the unity and still provide for the concerns, theological concerns, of the various congregations before any approval of proposals, the members of the round table considered 200 responses sent in by individuals, groups, and congregations of the United Methodist Church in Germany. They began their round table by having prayer partners of people with differing theological views. And here is a statement from um, Insight on January 29th, 2020. Because of the clear disagreement in the basic convictions about questions of homosexuality, the members of the round table proposed to delete all passages that speak about the ordination of people with homosexual orientation and the blessing of same-sex partnerships, 
every phrase in each sentence here was considered with much diligence. No other wording has been added instead. With regard to ordination, the Board of Ordained Ministry would still have the task of examining all candidates concerning their basic suitability. The deletions in the Book of Discipline would neither prescribe nor prohibit blessings of the same-sex couples. Church councils should be able to discuss blessings of same-sex couples in their own churches and can make decisions, the report said. The report said the proposed association with its own theological statement should give members security in their beliefs and actions. The Association for Traditional uh, Congregations and Individuals would be open to districts, charges, conferences, and individuals. Quote, it will choose a leadership team and the leader will be in close contact with the church leadership. Congregations should be able to vote if they would like to join such an association, unquote, the report said. The report said the 15 hours of the meeting were characterized by an intense struggle. How and in what way do we stay true to the Word of God? How do we protect and accompany people in their identity without hurting them? How can we at the same time, and as far as possible in our different convictions, preserve the unity of the Church and of congregations. The future will show if the hard work of the round table opens up horizons for this and is sustainable. We may, however, pray for it." Unquote. May the American congregations give some thought to the rigorous, prayerful efforts of the United Methodist Church in Germany. Amen.